Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a mysterious bottle that seems to separate things all on its own. I have a bunch of blue and white beads here and I want to separate them. I want the white ones stacked on top and the blue ones stacked on bottom and they have to be touching. So I could separate them myself. Start getting the white ones up top here. Okay, this is taking way too long. I have a better way. I'm gonna use what I call my sorting liquid. I have some beads in this bottle here. Now watch how it can easily separate the beads. Well, the white ones are coming down from the top and the blue ones are coming up from the bottom. So how is this liquid able to sort the beads like this? Well, we can see what's going on a little bit clearer here when I just have the liquid without shaking it first and I drop the beads in. You can see they both settle at the center, but then when I mix it up, they separate. And then they come back together. How is it doing this? It's weird enough that it's separated them like this, but how are they actually floating right in the center of the liquid? Have you ever seen anything float in the middle of a liquid? So I have some regular water here. I'll put it in my bottle. Then I have some isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna mix them together. Water and alcohol completely mixed together. They're said to be miscible, meaning that you can't separate them. The reason they mix together so well and can't be separated is because both water and alcohol have OH groups that easily hydrogen bond together. So they don't care whether they're bonded with water or alcohol, they'll just mix together like normal. So there's no longer two separate liquids here. It's one liquid, a water-alcohol mixture. Once you get this mixture formed, it's really hard to separate them. You can separate it through something called distillation. Distillation is when you heat up the liquid and because alcohol boils a little bit easier than water, the vapor that comes off of this liquid will be a little bit more rich in the alcohol. But there's an easier way to separate alcohol and water. You can just add some salt. In order for this to work, you need a lot of salt. You have to add around 28 grams per 125 milliliters of water. I'm gonna shake it up. Keep shaking it. What's really weird is as you're shaking this, you'll notice that it's really bubbly and frothy, and then all of a sudden it will turn to just kind of one liquid. It's almost instantaneous. You'll feel it change in your hand. It no longer has bubbles in it, and it suddenly just becomes a liquid, and the bubbles don't really form anymore. That's when you know you've dissolved enough salt in it, and it will become kind of this cloudy mixture. You'll see that it's not filled with as much foam now. Now we know we've reached the state we want. Now if you look closely, you can watch the two layers separate. What's happening here is the sodium chloride particles, they prefer binding with water molecules, so they force the alcohol molecules out of the water solution. So this makes two layers form, alcohol on top and a more dense water and salt layer on the bottom. You can see this clearer when I put a permanent marker in here. It will dissolve in the alcohol easily, but not so much in the water. You can see how they separate now. Notice how I've been careful to say an alcohol rich phase and a water rich phase. I haven't just called it alcohol and water. That's because whenever you mix two liquids together, the liquids are either gonna form one miscible solution together, meaning that it's one liquid, not two phases, but just one, or it can separate out into two phases like this. And when it separates out into two phases, it's not like one is completely alcohol and the other is completely water. But what it is is one of them will have more of one molecule than the other one. So this phase has more alcohol than water and this one has more water than alcohol. And the state that takes the least energy for the molecules is for them to separate into two liquid phases. This is the same for an oil-water mixture as well. It's just that they separate out into two liquid phases where one is almost completely oil and the other one's almost completely water. So we usually just call it oil and water, even though in both phases there's oil and water. We can test this out by putting our beads in here again. And you can see they float right in the middle there. 
The blue beads are less dense than salt water, but more dense than alcohol. And the white beads are more dense than alcohol, but less dense than salt water. And so both of them separate according to their density. This technique of separating water from alcohol using salt is called salting out. And it's a technique used in chemistry a lot whenever you want to separate out organics from water. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And you can also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab experiment boxes. And check out my shorts channel if you haven't yet. It's a second channel that I have where I do videos similar to this one. It's called Action Lab Shorts, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.